Hello there, my beautiful viewers, and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host, and if I sound extremely happy today, it is because I think I might have found the perfect USB-C hub solution for me, at least when I'm in the studio, and I really want to tell you about it. Now, it's called the Union Hub or Uni Hub, and there are two versions, one with more ports and one with less ports, basically. Now, there is this one thing about this hub that I really, really like, and it is the fact that you can detach the USB-C cable, and that is a big plus in my book. You see, I was tipped off about this hub in an earlier episode, and in that episode, I was going through hubs that have all failed me somehow. They all failed at the same point, right there. In the connector itself, or the cable leading to the connector that goes in to the port of the iPad. You see, these other hubs that I bought, they all had this one feature that is not so good when you want to use them with iPads. It's not good buying any type of hubs where the cable is permanently attached to the chassis. Why? Because they're usually too short and it makes it so the hub ends up hanging off the iPad because usually you have an iPad in the stand or you have it standing up. With a short cable, having the hub hang off like a little dingleberry is not good. It puts stress on the connector. And even in cases where you put the hub on top of the iPad, like the basis hub, it attaches onto the iPad and then you just plop in the cable and that should be good, right? Well, the cable is thick and it is bulky and it's hard to handle with and it's hard to get it in an angle where it really sits really well and it ended up breaking. And even in cases with hubs that have slim cables that aren't that bulky, they also end up breaking because of that stress thing. So all of my other hubs, they all failed right there. And I'm so fed up with it because I've spent like $40 here, $50 here, $70 here, $30 here. I'm so tired of it. And so if you have a hub where you can detach the cable, then switching out a cable and buying a new one is less expensive than buying an entire new hub, especially if you got a hub with multiple USB-C ports, card reader, LAN connector, all of that stuff. While I've been talking about this, some of you might be laughing a bit because you're looking at this part here that goes into an extension. And this is actually the cable that Uni provided me with. So you get the hub, this really short cable, and that's no good if you're using an iPad, works if you're using a laptop because you have it flat on the table. But when you're buying the Union Hub, make sure you also buy a longer cable. In my case, I was already prepared. I didn't have a longer cable, but what I did have was an extension cord that I recently bought, which also failed on me. And if you want to see what that was all about, <laughs> go and watch the video popping out in the upper right card right now, or just go check it in the uh, pinned comment down below. So after all of that, I'm sure that some of you just want to know about the hub. All right, so to be very, very clear, there are two models of the Union Hub, an 8-in-1 model and a 6-in-1 model. Now, I got the 8-in-1 model, and the 6-in-1 model is very similar to the 8-in-1 model, only it's missing two ports. It does not have a USB 2 port, and it does not have an Ethernet port. So what does the Union Hub offer? Well, if we look at it on this side here, this is where you actually put the USB-C cable that you want to connect to your laptop or your iPad. Now on this side here, you've got two USB 3 hubs and then you've got a micro SD card slot and an SD card slot. And on the other side, you've got a USB 2 connector, a LAN connector or ethernet, then you've got an HDMI connector and the last port is a USB-C PD port. This is where you connect your charger. 
it's rated to 100 watts, so you can use it both with laptops and with your iPads. So I've tried out all of the ports apart from one, and that's the HDMI connector. I haven't tried that because I don't have an HDMI display here. Either way, so far, everything else seemed to work. And right now I'm using a micro SD card in the micro SD card slot, 64 gigabytes, and I've tried dragging files over from it to my iPad and back, and also to the external hard drive I've got connected to the USB and back, and it all works seamlessly. It's really sweet. I've also tried the network connection, but but I didn't connect that because I think that this cable is so ugly and I didn't want it in picture. And on the other side, I've got my sound interface connected and it also, all of it just works. And I'm hearing no weird noises or anything like that. It's just, oh, it's super nice. I just love this so much. So the one big critique I have so far against the Union Hub is the shitty little cable it comes with. I mean, come on, you see, when I checked the Kickstarter page, it turns out that the backers that backed the project, they actually got two cables. They got one short cable and one longer cable. All docks come with two cables, a shorter one for working on a flat surface and a longer one for working on a stand. Well, I really wish they would have included a longer cable in the package. Either way, I have now ordered a new cable and buying a USB-C cable today, after everything I've gone through, is not easy, not anymore. I used to think it was easy just go and buy a cable and then that's it, right? But it, but it's not. And I'm getting really frustrated with it and I really want to talk. Now, if you do end up buying a uni or union hub, then you also need to make sure to buy a longer cable. And when you're buying that cable, there are some things to consider. Wattage rating, data transfer speeds, and lastly, length and all of the above points will decide how manageable that cable will end up being. It basically works like this. Higher wattage rating equals thicker cable and higher data transfer speeds also equals thicker cable. So the first thing you need to consider is what device you're buying the cable for. Now, this is the cable that goes between the USB hub and the device. And if that device is a laptop like the MacBook, you're gonna need a higher wattage rating. In those cases, I recommend getting a 100 watt cable and those cables are gonna be thick and bulky. Now, when it comes to smart tablets like the iPad, see a new iPad Pro, they only need 20 watts. However, if you're using something older, well, that one only needs 18 watts. These cables are gonna be less thick and more manageable. Now, the next part is trickier because it has to do with the data transfer speed. You see, if you are a video editor and you're working with large video files, well, you are going to want that higher data transfer speed rating. But if you're only working with music, you could get away with a standard USB 2 speed rating of 500 megabit per second or 480 megabit per second to be more accurate. I'm hoping this advice will help you out if you end up buying the Union Hub and you also need to buy a longer USB-C cable. Now, when you buy an iPad, you usually get a charger and a cable with it. I'm not so sure if Apple still does that. I've read somewhere that in some countries they only supply a cable. Either way, the PD port is where you connect your charger. And if you're curious, the cable that they supply are usually rated to 500 megabit per second. So if you were to use that for the data side of the hub, between the hub and the iPad, you wouldn't be able to get the highest speeds out of the USB 3 ports. But if you're just gonna use it for charging and for power, the data transfer rate doesn't really matter. There is one thing that matters though. If you intend to connect a lot of external gear to your hub, like hard drives and maybe MIDI controllers that have a lot of lights on them, well, these things need a lot of power too. So you gotta make sure that the wall wart you're using and the cable that you're using has a high enough wattage rating so that they're able to supply power to everything, including the charging for your iPad. Okay, so after using the hub for just one week, I don't feel confident enough to just say, go and buy it now. But if you are looking for a hub, I think this is a good option to at least consider while you're browsing for USB-C hubs. But if you buy one, 
no matter if you're buying it for a MacBook or an iPad, make sure you also order a longer cable. Right, you'll find all of the necessary links down below in the description and also links to the videos I've mentioned uh, in this video. And if you like this type of content, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't, just go away, go away, go away. Thank you so much for watching. And if you watch to the end, you're, you're amazing. Now, if you want to support me in a financial way, you can either check out my music and buy some of that. If you don't want to do that, you can check out my preset packs over at Gumroad. And if you don't want to do that, you can check out my PayPal or my Patreon. And if you don't want to do any of it, that's fine too. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.